Um, I've just grown and matured a lot. Um, I have a lot of experience. Um, I've played in a lot of games, seen a lot of different defenses, been around a lot of different teammates and a lot of different coaches. You know, this is my fourth different offense, um, third different head coach and, and second new team. So I'm excited about it. Um, I've adapted to change enough over time. And so uh, I've started to really just embrace the challenges um, like where I'm at right now and, and looking forward to moving on in the future. Obviously, the offensive line experience grew. How has it been kind of gelling with them and that core chemistry? Well, it's been great. Obviously, they, um, like me, they played a lot of games too. A lot of those guys were, were playing when I played them as a freshman. So it was um, a lot of good um, experience out there on the field. So that means we see a lot of different things. We can communicate a lot of different ways, and that's great for our whole team, great for our offense. Um, and when you have an experienced old line, that's um, one of the most important positions on the field, as, as everyone knows. How do you compare the weapons that you have in this offense to how it's going to be Oh Well, it's, it's hard to compare, but I will say that um, Oregon has some great players, um, and I'm excited to be on their team. Um, great defensive players, great offensive players, um, great coaches. And so now just being together, uh, we just got to continue to, to grow closer and, and build that relationship even further. So, sorry, so repeat, but you said that you said that Jay Boy when you first went into the world about it. A lot of Oregon fans you know, saying, well, we got a five-star quarterback, at the time three guys returning to Robbie. Yeah. We feel like fans feel like they already had a guy. Why did you feel like this was an opportunity that the quarterback was still missing? Well, I think that's kind of a distorted question, but um, I think anybody that plays would like to finish the piece of that puzzle on offense. You know, um, all eleven have to be playing together. All eleven have to be playing um, as one, and, um, regardless of who's playing quarterback. Um, they have to go out there and do their job for the team. So um, that's really important. It's about as big a culture difference from where you were. Yeah, it's about as different as you can get. Um, but different is always good, in my opinion. Um, it takes the comfort level out of things. Um, I'm just excited to be around this group, excited to be around these quarterbacks. Um, they've been great, and so I um, can't ask for a better situation. So you made a name for yourself as a, a really good playmaking quarterback. What do you want to, to hang your hat on as a quarterback this season? That's a great question. Um, I want to do, if I'm out there playing, whatever um, my team needs me to do, um, whether that's making a play, whether that's making the consistent play. I think if you look at a lot of uh, the great quarterbacks, take Tom Brady, for example, he doesn't ever make a wow play. He just makes the consistent ones over and over and over, and that's why he's the greatest of all time. And so just continuing to learn and grow and know that in my situation, um, make the consistent plays, and just be there for my team. Is there much difference between the Oregon Kenny Dillingham offense to the Auburn version of it? Like, how similar are they right now? Uh, well, when I was a freshman, Coach Malzahn, um, it was his offense, and he called the plays. And so Coach Dillingham was under the same tree, uh, but he did. Had a, had a help in it, had a help in game planning, but Coach Malzahn was the one that was calling it. So here it's Coach Dillingham's stuff, so it's a lot different and um, a lot of new things. What do you want to get accomplished in the next three games? Uh, just continue to, um, to grow as a player myself, continue to make consistent plays, continue to compete with myself, um, and at the end of the day, just continue to grow and get 1% better. And uh, with everything changing, no matter what group I'm going with, no matter who's on the field, no matter what defense is out there, just continue to do my job and make the team better. Have you found anything around here to make it feel like oh, there's no Milo around here, there's no Waffle House around here? Yeah. Have you found any of those things that feel quite something like that? Um, well, I got my Bible, and that's about all you need. You've gone up against Coach Lanning multiple times down the SEC. Now being here together in the same system, what have you learned from him? Well, it's fun to go against his defense every single day because, um, I mean, when you played them, I played him three times, and he had incredible packages, um, guys kind of everywhere. His defense is – that's why he had the number one defense in the country for two years in a row, maybe even three. Um, but each defense he had every, every year, um, they were solid up front. They were solid at the front seven, and they did a great job in the back end, and they never really had bust. So now just going against it every day, seeing why that happened, this person's lined up why, that means something else is happening. And so you get little differences, but at the same time for someone who's just seeing it, it looks like they're everywhere. So I'm just continuing to grow and, and to learn from that aspect. And um, obviously there's a lot of defense that I've yet to see. So I'm just excited to continue to grow and develop in my vision and, and seeing defenses and how they line up and what that means um, the offense needs to do. Do you feel like you'll be able to be more of a pocket passer in, with this team? I'm not trying to knock former teammates and things, but the offensive line had struggles in your favorite place. Do you feel like you'll be able to stay in the pocket more, more of a pocket passer? 
Uh, well, I, obviously you'd hope so, um, but that's a lot of different things go into that. Um, and I'd say last year um, I did very well in the pocket, and um, in the future, in the past, it was more of a run-heavy um, offense, so we didn't do a whole bunch of um, in the pocket passing. So it's all different year by year. It's all different of who you're playing with, what the call is, and all that good stuff.